taking the sessions of BIW uh, means uh, product life cycle management in BIW. That is a, a very vast challenge in our industry level, like uh, how the production of any BIW components or any components uh, that has been gone under truth from strategize planning to uh, the manufacturing process. So how will be the process? We'll be discussing uh, that in this uh, webinar or workshop. So, okay, thank you guys. So uh, start uh, first of all, I'll be starting it. Uh, so can anyone say what is a BIW is body in white? Okay, what is body in white means whenever your body has been manufactured, your car body has been manufactured, whatever vehicle you are driving, like four wheeler vehicle you are driving before manufacturing, uh, the frames of the car is been designed or the frame of the car uh, is been manufactured. That body is called as body in white. Okay, so why this is required? Because uh, suppose whenever you are driving a car, okay, whenever you will be driving a car, that time what happens uh, if the portion or uh, you know, the person who is driving that car is of uh, 80 kgs and is driving at a speed of 30 km per hour, then if uh, unfortunately if so, uh, something happens like accident happens or uh, some crash happens, then around 100. Uh, 14,000 cases of load is been uh, impacted. Means 14,000 kg impact load is been on the vehicles. Okay, uh, and which can be uh, in which the driver or the uh, passengers or the person who, who are present inside the car they may uh, they may get hurt and they may also even uh, it cause to the death. Okay, so. BIW plays a vital role in your uh, vehicle. Means it will be the most important uh, categories or the most important component of your vehicle in which you, uh, the vehicle uh, is safer and the passenger and the uh, uh, driver or the persons who are present, they are being safer. So uh, you have to design uh, or you have to make your body part in such a way that or the skeleton of the body part in such a way that your vehicle will be most uh, like it will be getting this hundred uh, 14,000 uh, case uh, 14,000 cases of load in it. It will be not hampering your persons who, who those who are present in the vehicle itself. Okay. So uh, why it has been called as body in white? Because whenever all the skeleton parts, all the seat metals are welded together or casted together or forges together, then it will be looking like in white color because you know that maximum of the vehicle is been made off of steels and steels uh, like, uh, it, uh, like stillness steels. So uh, these will be a, uh, looking like a white uh, body structure so this is called in body uh, body in white so what is body in white i'll be saying you the uh, the all the parts okay all the skeleton of the body like upper frame roof uh, your bunny uh, hoods everything will be comprised and that will be a structural only no seats no engines will be assembled that is called your body in white okay so in your vehicle approximately this is the breakdown of your vehicles mean whenever you are uh, driving a car or something this will be the approximate weight or approximate uh, percentage breakdown of your vehicle so you can see body part okay this body and this closer and fender okay will be comprised of together okay now it has been comprised of together in which they will be around uh i'll be saying it will be around 20 to 40 percent of your uh vehicle means whatever vehicle you are going to design the biw or body in white will be playing it together means both will be uh, comprised of together and it will be the maximum of your vehicle means whatever components you are assembling in the vehicle the biw will be the maximum okay around 20 to 40 percent of the vehicle breakdowns okay so all the things like uh, the uh, whatever the operations will be doing like welding operations or all the seat metal joining operation like uh, piercing blanking notching everything whatever you want to do you'll be doing it in the biw itself okay i hope all of you have got an idea about what is biw uh, if yes then uh, type s or if you have any doubt you can ask me okay 
so uh, the biw is uh, is is a major contributor of the safety factor in the vehicle means the vehicle that you are driving okay or you are making the uh, vehicle profile that the biw will be the major safety factor or it will be ensuring your security first okay or safety first okay okay then what are the classifications like what are the types of biw we have okay generally we have two type of uh, B, uh, biw or body in white one is body on frame another is monocoque body okay so what is body on frame body on frame means your chassis okay this is the chassis part and this is the body part it will be different okay it will be not attached together the manufacturing of these two will be different means this part the chassis part will be different and the body part will be different and after that it will be clamped okay clamped by the fastening uh, fastening uh, devices or by some other devices like weldings and everything okay weldings are not done uh, majorly but clamping clamping and your fastening devices will be tied in okay so why body on frame is important okay where is the body on frame measure uh, plays a vital role like your loader thing like trucks okay uh, buses or mini uh, mini vans okay this type of your vehicles will be having the chassis and body part differently that is called on body on frame the ladder okay generally the chassis will be on ladder shape ladder size uh, ladder uh, type frame you will be uh, putting uh, your uh, you will be making a ladder type frame in which you will be keeping this body part generally your uh, i'll be saying again generally your uh, uh, vehicles okay which have uh, which will be taking maximum of the loads like trucks buses uh, and mini trucks they will be having this uh, body on frame type of biw okay like also in the vehicle like mahindra boleros and uh, scorpio uh, scorpio also will be having this body on frame type uh, body part okay then uh, when you comes to the monocoque body monocoque body will be playing uh, what is monocoque body uh, first means the chassis and the uh, skeleton will be combinedly together it will be welded okay means welded or uh, the body monocoque body is designed such a way that there will be no chassis visible only the body skeleton will be visible okay why because uh, it will be whenever the load or impact will be hitting on your front part or the uh, side part of your vehicle that time what happens the body will be uh, the uh, loads which is been impacted in the body that will be get distributed in your devices or all over the body part so that the load uh, whenever it will be distributed that time the uh, where, uh, where the impact will be there that there the load will be laser okay and your driver and everyone will be safer but in body on frame the maximum of the uh, parts will be taken by the chassis itself okay the uh, impact load will be taken by this chassis itself okay so as i said you all the 14 uh, 14000 kg of the load that has been hitted on the vehicle that will be distributed in this ladder part and some part of your vehicle itself but in this monocoque body the total whatever the uh, cases of uh, like uh, 14000 cases of the load will be distributed throughout the body okay so where the impact will be there there it will be get reduced and it will be distributed got it like in the monocoque body will be saying that all the sedans and hatchbacks are having monocoque body uh, like your swift uh, uh, or your uh, nexon all the types of uh, vehicles those who are uh, those who uh, are using this monocoque body are uh, like of small cars okay and if you are going for heavier car or uh, bigger car they'll be using body on frame okay so one thing i forgot uh, forgot to tell you uh, the body on frame okay body in white will be uh, like sorry body in white will be according to your government rules okay government rules means uh, it will be saying that ncap regulations okay national car assessment programs okay in which uh, like different countries okay different uh, how this has been achieved uh, like how this uh, biw has been designed by the regulation of government bodies in the country 
and by the car requirement which type of car you are going to manufacture and what are the regulation or the country government have been given okay uh, such like that we have in india we have Bha uh, bharat national vehicle uh, safety assessment program in which uh, will be uh, uh, the government of india have been initiating like if you have uh, heard about the bh4 bh6 bh uh, uh, two engines or bh uh, vehicles what is that in which all the safety factors and all the um, components of the veil is been uh, give uh, having a rules and regulation or term and condition in which they have to keep all the cat, uh, criteria of the vehicle whenever they are manufacturing they will be keeping in this segment only according to the government rule only okay uh, such like as in uh, another regulation body in uh, us federal uh, federal government like uh, na national highway traffic safety program this is for uh, america or us uh, traffic uh, like us uh, federal government means uh, us country the united state having this uh, regulatory body in which all the vehicles will be getting certified to this uh, first then they can manufacture the vehicle in india that is bharat national vehicle safety assessment program and different countries also like uh, japan having its own regulations korean having their own regulations and uh, like uh, europe's uh, uk they are having different like around 10 bodies are there 10 uh, vehicle assessment programs are there like different 10 countries are there in which they decide their own rules and regulation and term and conditions to make their own vehicle okay so can anyone say what is the most safety uh, safest vehicle in this planet recent days can anyone say me in the chat box you can write it uh, not tata uh, no uh, if you are a elon musk uh, fan then you can say yeah tesla model 3 made uh, tesla model 3 is the most uh, safest uh, car in this planet uh, most uh, safe, uh, and it is having a five star rating now no vehicle having five star rating only the tesla model 3 is having its five star rating okay, okay. Uh, so yeah and another thing is that uh, uh, also this safety factor okay also the biw or the safety factor is been designed the uh, like uh, the size and the uh, uh, yeah, generally the size of the vehicle means if your vehicle will be so long, then uh, longer uh, long uh, long, then your safety will be more. If you are using a longer vehicle, means if you are using a vehicle like this, you can see uh, the Lamb uh, Lamborghinis and Ferrari having uh, uh, the engine area where the engine housing or the wood areas having uh, a, a bigger area. Okay, why? Because whenever uh, that, uh, that are the fastest car, or we can say sports car. Uh, generally, the sports car having the first area in the front part where the engine assembly will be there. That uh, side will be bigger. Why? Because uh, that that sports car and they are capable of making high RPMs. Okay, or high horsepower, generating high horsepower in which. Uh, the impact like uh, the accident occurs uh, like if you are uh, going in, in Indian road, if you will be uh, dragging the vehicle around 200 uh, km per hour, then uh, obviously some obstacles will be having and you can hit your vehicle. So uh, if your vehicle size will be longer, then the impact will be on the frontal part itself. You, uh, the driver will be not get hit. If, uh, as I said you, if a 80 kg person is traveling around 30 km per hour, then it can, uh, the impact load will be 14,000 kg. Okay. So if you are uh, coming to 120, okay, 120 of the speed, then it will be increasing around uh, something 4 into 4. It will be like, uh, like 68,000 kg. Okay. 68,000 cases in which you can destroy yourself too. That is why the frontal part of your vehicle will be lengthier. Okay. Uh, so, Rohit, that will be a very much uh, uh, longer, like uh, longer calculation. We can have it in other days. Okay. Uh, in other workshop, we'll be discussing that. <laughs> How your BIW or your vehicle uh, body parts are been categorized or classified. Your vehicle that uh, whatever BIW you are going to manufacture or you are going to assemble or we can say. 
so all the vehicles that you are going to uh, maintain or uh, whatever you are going to manufacture that are category uh, classified into three types first is under body platform upper body platform and closers okay so this you can see biw subsystems okay like uh, what are the upper bodies upper bodies are these pa uh, parts means uh, okay upper bodies are these parts like roof okay it will be coming roof uh, the uh, yeah the pillars a pillar b pillar c pillars uh, the frontal parts uh, or the bows inside it the uh, the side panels everything will be coming on the upper body upper body means which part are visible to you okay means off, off section of your vehicle then the closers one the closers one are uh, generally described by which are being closed and uh, like open regularly okay means those uh, vehicles or like your doors uh, hoods uh, your tailgates fenders these are of removal thing and you can remove it fix it and open it and close it regularly that is why it has been closers area and under body under body will be a major and having most component of your vehicle okay if you uh, like uh, generally 30 uh, 30 to 40 components are there in your closers area uh, 60 to 80 components are there in your upper body station and 140 to 160 components are there in your lower body station in biw itself rest your uh, rest are there your interfaces are there like uh, your uh, wearing saps engines they are having uh, other excluding this okay excluding this these areas having this much components okay so your interfaces having around uh, thousand plus components okay so these are the areas in which will be maximum of your safety factor will be defined okay so uh, what are the areas like uh, in uh, underbody or platform body okay in the uh, underbody session you will be having your engine rooms cabin floors rear floors and middle floors these are will be your major type of uh, uh, rooms or your body in under uh, underbody platforms then when you comes to the upper body okay means which are visible to you or in the off session like cabin in the floor a pillar b pillar c pillar d pillar roof structure this i'll be discussing what are these and why they are important okay so these are of your upper body stations then closers closers means which can be open and closed frequently okay like uh, hoods or bonnet we used to say bonnet fenders okay fenders means this fend, uh, these are the fenders okay these are the fenders which will be giving a finishing look or look to your body this will be not playing any vital role but this will be a finishing uh, body okay uh, then front doors rear doors fuel doors fuel means fuel gates tailgates are uh, tailgates are this okay where you keep your luggage area okay uh, and most of the things okay this under body and uh, this upper body will be uh, like the manufacturing uh, will be done by welding process majorly the welding process will be uh, will be done in this underbody and upper body station okay you will be asking why not closers because closers are open and uh, open and closed type of uh, devices in which uh, there will be fastening devices like nut and bolts okay or rebates and then uh, some clamping devices okay these are the types of uh, things will be uh, will be doing in our closers or will uh, this will be helping us to open or shut our devices i hope all of you got what are the classified uh, what what are the thing uh, classified in the classification of bfw everyone got understood about this if you have any doubt you can ask me up to this whatever we have studied all of you have got it right Okay, uh, if you have any doubt, you can ask me. Okay. Okay, then let's go to the devices that are there in the upper body system 
closure system and lower body system and why they are, why they, the devices are there okay why not other devices okay so when you comes to the upper body section or the visible area of your body part or the structure which you can say this is the car okay so what what are the components we are uh, what are the components they are present uh, in the upper body sections so these are of the sort of uh, these are the 12 type of major components that are present but there are more uh, in it like 60 to 40s as i said you 60 to 40 uh, sorry 40 to 60 components are there in your upper body systems so first is a pillar b pillar c pillar and d pillar these four these four pillars will be playing a vital role or playing an important role in your side crash test okay what is side crash test means whenever the vehicle will be uh, imp got get a impact or get a uh, uh, like uh, any hit okay in this side area these four pillars will be playing a vital role and it will be helping the passenger to be safer inside okay so these uh, th four devices uh, i'll be saying you subham i'll be saying you what are the future uh, so yeah uh, so these four devices will be helping you to help uh, you or uh, help the driver or the passenger to be safer when uh, the vehicle will be hit in the side of the uh, vehicle means a vehicle another vehicle will, uh, like generally the side impact is done by another vehicle means and any loader or any vans will be coming from the side whenever it will be getting impact or get hit in this side that time this three pillar will be helping uh, the driver to be safer okay so what this a pillar b pillar c pillar d pillar is so where and where does it present so a pillar b pillar c pillar are generally here okay this is a pillar okay this is b pillar this is c pillar and this is d pillar as this is a mpvp vehicle so this is a uh, mpvp vehicle so these are uh, the more like the vehicle having larger dimension or having a longer dimension there will be having four generally four pillars okay if it is a mbb vehicle it is having four pillars whenever uh, you will be going for any sedan vehicles okay or uh, yeah sedan vehicles there you don't have any d pillars okay you have only uh, this c pillars up to c pillars itself okay because here the maximum height is lesser you don't require any d pillar if you go any hatchback uh, vehicle like your alto or any uh, uh, swift there you will be having only two pillars a and b pillar there also you don't have any c pillars okay generally the pillars will be distributed according to your length of your vehicle if you are having a larger vehicle like suv or any mbv vehicles there will be having four pillars if you have any sedan vehicles there will be having three pillars and if you are having any sedan vehicles there will be having only two pillars okay why these pillars are important because to get a safer positions to the driver and whenever the vehicle will be hit by any uh, loads in the side of the vehicle that time this vehicle will be not get uh, not delivering the impact to the driver okay so uh, okay how this a pillar c pillar and d pillar are been uh, manufactured so uh, generally as i said you generally in the vehicle body structure or in biw we use steels okay we uh, generally we categorize our steel into laser yield uh, laser yield steels and higher yield steels okay what is this laser uh, laser and higher means the steels have been categorized into different type of grades okay or according to their uh, yield strength so uh, we generally use 220 to 240 of mpa uh, in laser yield strength and uh, around 800 to 850 okay mpa in a uh, higher yield strength in between these we will be making our body okay so uh, if if in the a pillar or b pillar or c pillar or d pillar we are using this 220 to 240 mpa then this will be not very much durable or it will be not getting uh, like uh, it will be not uh, giving your pillars a robust area what is robust area means when uh, the maximum strength area okay it will be not getting your pillars a maximum strength 
okay and if you are using a higher yield strength uh, still okay around 800 to 850 that time what happens it uh, the vehicle okay the vehicle will be of heavy means the vehicle will be getting a heavier structure and uh, it will be uh, and it will be very much expensive okay because uh, if you are using any laser yield strength that that time uh, the price of the material will be lesser and if you are using higher then the price will be more okay and the weight also will be more so in order to in order to um, minimize our cost and minimize our uh, weight of the vehicle that time what happens will be making our pillars like these are your pillars okay these are your pillars where uh, we will be dividing our pillars into two categories okay two two things or two uh, uh, segment will be categorized here we'll be using around 600 to 650 or 630 mpa steels okay high 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 frequency steels high thickness steels and in the upper part we'll be using a lower yield steel like around 200 or uh, 220 to 240 okay why because whenever in the lower area why we're adding the maximum uh, yield strength or higher yield strength material because whenever the vehicle is get hit the impact will be here in maximum okay because the chassis or the vehicles part will be coming up to this area okay a certain area of this so this area will be getting maximum of the impact that is why we'll be keeping higher strength or higher mpa uh, yield uh, higher uh, strength of uh, steels in this lower area okay so that uh, and a high thickness so that the impact in which the impact will be uh, if the impact will be more <coughs> sorry the vehicle will uh, the strength or the pillars can excel it okay if uh, if uh, and uh, this area we can keep it lower because maximum of the time this will be not get hit only the supporting structure will be there okay so how these two can be uh, joined like forging process or like laser welding we can join these two uh, parts so that it will be combinedly this will be giving a one part that is called as pillar okay all of you got it what is pillar and uh, what are the upper body system okay okay then we comes to the rear quarter panel where is the rear quarter panel is visible here it is the rear quarter panel inside your vehicle where lots of wearings and your sitting your back seat structure will be mounted in this rear quarter panel okay body side these are your body sides okay these are your body sides where you'll be craving for your fuel tanks or any other uh, like you'll be attaching any car, any extra components and uh, whenever you are sorting or close uh, opening the uh, door that time this area uh, will be getting impacted also that is why this is your body side in uh, bo sorry body side outer okay B uh, bso body side outer or bsi body side inner okay this will be combinedly together with rear quarter pan okay these are of uh, uh, same category then roof structure and roof bow so what is roof bow and roof structure we will be saying that this is the roof structure and what is the roof bow okay roof structure is the seat that has been applied on the top of the vehicle okay these are your roof structure okay the uh, a, a a single uh, uh, structure or single seat uh, which will be having uh, uh, or which will be placed on the top of the vehicle to support your upper section of your body okay what is biw to support this structure to support this roof structure a yeah, columns some columns is been kept okay some columns have been kept to support this structure okay that is uh, that are called as roof or cross members okay if your vehicle uh, will be of longer or uh, like if your dimension of the vehicle will be long then the uh, this uh, roof bow or roof member cross members will be more okay if it will be shorter then it will be lesser okay to support this roof structure 
okay because why this uh, root structure need, uh, need any uh, supporting structure because whenever some components like this will be not coming under any impact load but whenever by default any uh, as you know like some stones or like uh, you uh, in the down floor you ke uh, kept your car parked and uh, from the up any stones or any uh, any components will be coming and hitting your vehicle that time the bows uh, this bow will be taking maximum of the load and keeping your roof structure uh, stranger okay stranger then ninth one is your cantrill okay so the what are the cantrill these are your cantrill section sorry these are your cantrill sessions okay which will be connected to the third gun okay and it will be help uh, giving you a maximum strength to your body part okay means your doors and pillars it will be giving you a maximum strength part and also to fix your door it will be playing a vital role also whenever the impact in the front part will be there it the shot gun will be dividing the or distributing the vehicles uh, load into the uh, into your cantrils and also the cell part i'll be saying what is the cell part this is the cantril okay which is the upper body section and uh, you'll be saying that uh, the body is been mounted in such a way if you'll be hitting it then the driver will be getting hit okay suppose this is your vehicle okay and this is your cantril okay this is your cantril here you can see this is your cantril area okay and the driver is sitting here if your vehicle will be get impacted here okay then it can be bent like this also and your driver can get hit okay but here it is been uh, uh, here we have separated our body or the cantrel uh, known as programming deformation okay uh, means here a cut mark will be giving that is called as programming deformation if your vehicle will be getting impacted and your uh, cantrel is getting impacted through certain loads then the cantrel will be deformed like this not like this okay the cantrel will be deformed like this so that the driver will be here and the cantrel will be playing a vital role in your aer aerodynamics purpose only okay then rear wheel house uh, means where the rear wheels uh, will be kept okay means the rear wheels where it will be mounted here it will be mounted okay then uh, and here also some differentials will be added on to uh, uh, rear wheels housing then a uh, rear drain channel this is the rear drain channel in which if the waters or anything will be fallen here uh, fallen to it then it will not going inside uh, to the vehicle but inside these canals or channels it will be coming out okay then rear combi lamps here it is a rear combi lamps where you'll be putting the uh, combi lamps and here another exhaust will be there your body exhaust means inside your body whatever the pressure and whatever the ventilation will be there like in the vehicles you'll be mostly nowadays the vehicles having air conditions and uh, uh, the, uh, like uh, but we need some area where the ventilation should be there okay where the ventilations will be there inside the vehicle so here in the rear combi lamps panel will be giving another ventilations area in which the pressure or the uh, formation or, or the components that are uh, like uh, all the uh, air or atmospheric pressure whatever present or the gases whatever present inside your uh, vehicle that will be coming out from here not it is not the tail pipe where your uh, engine emissions will be there it is the ventilation pipe in which the uh, inner atmosphere inner pressure of your uh, vehicle or inner gas of your vehicle like applying uh, see uh, where uh, uh, where the cabin area is there where the driver and all the passenger will be uh, sitting that, from there the uh, 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 pressure or the uh, there the ventilation will be there or no suffocation will be there that is why the combi uh, inside the combi lamps there will be a ventilation pipe okay i hope all of you got understood about the upper body system if you have any doubt you can ask in the chat box itself okay uh sir please send the form uh, sir what about uh yeah because i'll be discussing it after the session uh what are the uh advantages in biw and what are the future scope i'll be uh 
defining it so gauri prasad biw in a simple uh, simple definition i can say it is the outer section or structural section which will be uh, used uh, uh, which will be giving a finishing look to your body as, or you can say skeleton of your uh, car vehicle and it will be keeping safer to your body uh, suppose you take your body as uh, uh, a vehicle and your skeleton okay the bones that you are having uh, there are biw of your vehicle and the muscles there are the other components that you'll be using okay that is your biw uh, so rear quarter panel uh, i'll be saying about the rear quarter panel here the supporting system okay uh, the supports uh, this is the rear quarter panel in which you'll be keeping all the wearings okay and here also uh, in the rear quarter panel uh in the rear quarter panel you will be having your fuel tanks attached to it okay here it will be your fuel tanks and it will be so much safer that the fuel can flow it into the uh tank okay means uh, here one pipe will be attached which will be going to the tanks itself so this will be playing a vital uh, role or a most uh, uh i can say hazardous proof uh rear quarter panel will be playing and it will be giving a support structure to your uh, seats back seats also okay okay so yeah i hope all of you got understood about your upper body system let's yeah, let's uh, see about the closers okay what are the closers and why they are been kept okay so closers what are closers because uh, the in the body in the vehicles the closing and opening of your uh, body part will be there okay like some part of your vehicle you will be uh, definitely closing it frequently and opening it so that you can go inside and outside of your vehicle and also uh, you can uh, replace that uh, uh, parts also if uh, that part is get damaged and you can replace that part also okay so that is why maximum of the body part will be having closer systems okay closer and opening system okay so what are the major part of your open, uh, closers like your hoods okay hood are these things like your where the engine room will be there to close this engine room will be having a hood okay then lateral door front or inner or uh, inner uh, front doors or rear doors okay these are your uh, lateral doors okay lateral doors your back side of your vehicle okay where the luggage area compartment will be there then uh rear doors uh, rear doors uh these are your rear doors okay uh sorry here little bit uh, changes are there like this is your uh, lateral door or front door okay lateral door or front door and this is your uh, tail gates okay tail gates where the luggage area will be there and this is your uh, lateral doors okay means uh, the front door okay then fenders fenders are uh, kept here to give your body part a uh, uh, so please uh, define the hood uh, and bonnet assembly yeah yeah i'll be defining i'll be defining don't worry about it. okay so uh, hood and bonnet will be your engine rooms uh, in the ever with a cover will be there that is called as your hood and bonnet your door uh, for a uh, front door and your uh, rear doors and your tail gates and these fenders okay these fenders is for only finishing looks and these are generally you can see you can uh, definitely you can uh, like remove it frequently like this are done by any clamping devices okay you can remove that clamping and uh, close that clamping also these uh, fenders are used for your uh, styling purpose or we can say a finishing uh, giving a finishing and good look to your body okay so let's come to the uh, hood and bonnet okay hood and bonnet are these things in which uh, you, you first of all the it will be giving a good uh, surface to your body and also it will be playing a major safety factor to your uh, driver seat uh, because it will be in the front part and your driver will be safer if your bonnet or the hood will be playing uh, will be a, a designed correctly so if you have uh, in, uh, like if you have seen a vehicle and you can see whenever if you have noticed it your vehicle or the bonnet part or the hood part will be uh, like designed like this okay means uh, like a curvature part will be there 
okay if you have noticed in your vehicle if this is your engine pad if this is your bonnet it will be designed in this way yes or no if you have noticed it in the chat box if you have noticed it please write yes why because why this has been done because whenever uh, like if it will be flat okay if it will be flat then what happens if the impact will be there okay if the impact will be uh, impact in the maximum time the impact will be on the bonnet itself okay and as it is a sheet metal type okay sheet metal body part then what happen is this sheet metal will be bent and sometime it will be a opened and it will be hitting uh, to the driver like this is the car and here the driver will be there and it can be hit, hit to the driver itself if it will be bent okay this structure it is bent here so whenever it will be getting an impact okay in the front side that time the deformation will be here only okay like this it will be deformed okay so that your driver will be safer it will be not get opened and it will be not get hit to the driver got it that is why the curvature part or the uh, the front part will be designed in a curvature way means from the starting it will be having a low downfall and in the middle it will be having a high high range then again it will be in slant type okay like a hilly structure itself it will be uh, designed so that whenever the impact will be there wherever it will be having a minimum of the thickness that uh, from there itself it will be getting bent okay and if it will be getting flat then it will be suddenly open and hit to the driver so your driver or a passenger will may get hit so uh, to re reduce that the uh, the bonnets or the hoods is designed such a way and also the nowadays the hoods and bonnets have been given two locks okay if you have seen uh, to open these uh, hoods or to uh, clean your or uh, to change your engine oil some or to uh, apply your coolants okay uh, the bonnets have been given two locks okay one is electronics lock which is inside uh, the driver panels means near to the driver and another is manual locking okay so what happen is why the, it is been given uh, like two uh, two locking systems are there first is if your electric uh, like sometimes the uh, some children will be there uh, who, who can open the electric uh, electric uh, uh, lock okay who can press the switch and uh, the fender will be opened and if uh, by mistake the driver don't know it and it will be driving uh, he will be driving the vehicle or he or she will be driving the vehicle that time the fender can open and it can be hit okay uh, so that time the manual will be playing as soon as you don't open the manual uh, manually then the fender will be not open and uh, also if sometime the driver having mis uh, misfortunately uh, get his uh, finger on the uh, bonnet switch then it will be open so that is why the ma uh, manual system will be helping there if sometime the body will be get hit and uh, your uh, manual locking system is get uh, broken and uh, uh, that time what happens if you are given uh, like separately only the manual locking system that time the fender uh, the uh, hood will be open and it will be getting hit so that that time what happens the electric will be keeping it close okay means if this will be failing then electric will be helping uh, to keep it close if electric is failing then the manual locking system will be helping to uh, protect your vehicle okay or the hoods then comes to the lateral door or fenders uh, or the front door this is the lateral door or front uh, front door so you can see lots of structures are there in this why because of the aerodynamic uh, purpose only uh, means the aerodynamics of the vehicle will be low, uh, uh, good in this type of vehicles okay so that maximum of the system are there and also these uh, rear doors and front doors will be having robust area high robust area because uh, around like uh, as, as in the uh, like uh, bharat uh, as i said in india we have bharat bharat national vehicle assessment programs okay safety assessment programs so in which uh, india government have regulated that your front door will be having a life cycle okay life cycle up to uh, 120 to 130 lakhs okay and your back doors will be having or your rear parts will be having 
uh, rear doors will be having around six uh, six hundred to four hundred. Uh, sorry, six thousand to four hundred life cycles. Okay, according to Indian government uh, rules and regulations, so that your life say uh, your door, you no need to uh, change your door frequently, and it can travel up to uh, you can use the doors up to this much cycles. Okay, after that only it will be working. But uh, your strain uh, reboosting area or the reboost area of your vehicle will be lowered there. Okay, okay. that is why the rears and uh, fronts are then and also the wood also having some life cycles around uh, 30000 to 40000 uh, cap uh, like uh, life cycles are there and your tailgate okay your bonnet area where you give your luggage uh, sorry luggage compartment where it is be helping you to keep your luggage uh, uh, luggage inside it or some uh, like i will be saying your uh, uh, your step uh, step ins like your vehicle extra wheels, you can keep it inside this area. And this is also having a life cycle of uh, ar uh, around 20 to 30 uh, thousands. Okay. So these are your types of vehicles. Okay. And here I have said you that fuel doors, fuel doors also will be playing a vital role uh, because uh, uh, like you can say the holes are present. Uh, why these holes are being present inside uh, the vehicles so that it will be not get mixed we, uh, with the body part and uh, and also whenever uh, and the other driver or any uh, like inside this your fuel tank will be there or fuel uh, connecting pipes will be there which will uh, in which you can refill your vehicle so if you open it and close it this is also a closer type of uh, you'll be opening it and closing it so if it will be mixed with this uh, 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 this uh, body then uh, you can't recognize it also, uh, why these gaps have been present to uh, if the water will be coming, like in the rainy season you are driving, if the water will be coming, it will be flowing like this. Okay. Like uh, you, if you have seen, like uh, if you have seen your uh, uh, fuel doors, it will be slant, uh, means if this is your zero level, it will be higher here or lower here. Okay. Means like this, any curvature part will be there. Why? this deformation will be there 0 0.5 mm okay this from the zero level it will be having a uh, 0.5 mm uh, up or down session because why if the water will be uh, falling to your door it will be not going inside it will be taking these uh, doors to get it out okay i hope all of you got understood about the closure system uh, if you have any doubt you can ask in the uh, chat box if you have any doubt uh, regarding your closure system any doubt guys uh, if it is clear then uh, type s yes. okay okay then let's go for your last session that is your lower body system okay what is lower body system means the part that is being present inside the body part and these parts okay the lower body system will be uh, the maximum strength and area of your vehicle means if this part will be not get stronger then your total vehicle will be get damaged okay so this will be playing a, uh, a major lower in your vehicle so first is third gun okay what is third gun? Here it is the third gun are there. This is the this area is called as third guns. Okay. Why? Uh, what is the uh, work of this third guns? Means whenever the front impact will be there, these third guns will be taking the maximum of the loads. And these third guns, I, as I said, you the uh, uh, the cantrails. Okay. These third guns will be dividing the powers. Okay. Dividing the uh, uh, dividing the loads okay into two categories one is to the cantrils okay by, through the cantrils the uh, uh, loads will be distributed and through this seal panel okay this these are called as the seal panel okay from uh, this the uh, from the shotgun, gun the parts okay the uh, maximum of the load will be getting grounded okay so these third guns will be distributing the loads from the uh, front part to the cantrils through the cantrils and to the sill uh, sill panel to the grounded areas okay 
then front wheel house uh, these are the your front wheel house this where you'll be mounting your front wheel steering boxes and also like uh, if it is the front wheel drive then also the differentials uh, then uh, this uh, where you'll be mounting all the suspens uh, all the steering boxes generally the steering box and the steering equipment will be attached to the wheels in the front wheel housing okay shock tower okay shock tower will be a mag uh, major part here it is the shock power two holes you can see uh, which will be connected to your wheels uh, like the one your so uh, soccer okay so the soccer will be connected to your wheels and uh, which will be mounted to this body through this uh, shock towers okay and according to that your body will be getting uh, deformed then dash or fi uh, fire uh, firewall panel this area is called as your dashboard or firewall panels so uh, why this is called dashboard because maximum of your interfaces area like your steering steering wheels your dashboards your uh, musical systems or any components or ac systems or your dash panels will be mounted in this uh, area okay and lots of cutting section will be there because uh, you need to uh, need to the cables to be out from here so that you can uh, access it perfectly all the sensor will be coming out from here all the sensors with this will be attached in your gas panel itself also this uh, this area will be keeping you from heat protected so as i said you this will be your engine room and here uh, the engine will be working and it is producing lots of heat here okay so uh, Ah, uh, it will be not coming inside. Okay, as it will be not coming inside, so this part, okay, this part will be playing a major role. Means this part will be protecting uh, from the heats and any other uh, like harmful gases from the engine room. It will be not coming inside to the uh, cabin uh, cabin uh, area. Okay, then uh, coil top panel. So this area is called as coil top panel where. You will be keeping uh, where the steering column is been mounted, and also this is the water box area. What is water box area in your vehicle? Uh, from the windshield, okay. Uh, from the windshield, whatever the water will be coming, it will be falling in this coil top panel, and it will be going inside to the water box, okay. Or if you want to clean your uh, windshield, you have a spray over here, a connecting spray over here from the water box. This motor will be acting, and it will be spraying in this windshield, and then again this water will be going inside this uh, uh, water box area, okay. So that. Uh, so that your engine room will be not uh, di get direct contact with the waters okay then this area is called as our total cabin panel our cabin panel is divided into three types okay front floor central floor rear floor this area okay where the luggage compartment and your wheel extra wheels compartment will be there that is called as your rail panels where your uh, sitting uh, uh, sitting capacity will be there like your front seat and back seat will be there that is called your central panel and floor as uh, front body where your uh, driver will be sitting and uh, where your accelerators braking clutch uh, gear boxes uh, and dashboard will be there that is called as your uh, front floor okay so total cabin panel cabin panel is divided into three types one is rear floor central floor and front floor okay then floor uh, floor cross members so these are your floor uh, cr uh, cross uh, cross members uh, these are your floor cross members in which will be uh, attaching your uh, uh, in under which you will be having your uh, fuel tank okay and above it will be keeping your uh, sitting capacity okay sitting capacity ready okay that is your floor cross members and floor tunnel what is your floor tunnel uh, like this area will be your floor tunnel okay in which uh, the propelling shaft from your engines will be coming and the bearings also will be coming inside this okay then uh, kick panels uh, in uh, in your back side in your back side you will be having a kick panel suppose okay what is kick panel is uh, suppose uh, like this okay you, your uh, seats are generally mounted like this okay so this this area is called as your kick panel okay so this is also a feature based because if it will be most flatter 
फ्लोर फ्लैटर द पैसेंजर विल बी कीपिंग द लेग लाइक दिस ओके बट इफ योर this area is called as your cap uh, ring panel so here you will be keeping your extra uh, wheel okay like in case of any puncture or anything you can use that uh, uh, extra wheels or stepney will this be saying in mbvp vehicles or xuv vehicles it will be uh, in the uh, in the outside of your body but in the hatchback or in the sedan it will be inside this uh, luggage compartment okay then rear apron okay uh the rear apron is here where the exhaust and your uh, ventral pipes okay ventral pipe will be coming your exhaust pipe is there but your ventral pipe which will be taking uh, inner atmosphere of your vehicle outside okay ventilation purpose in your cabins cabin floor okay then front and rear seat support members so these are your uh, also in the uh, rear apron okay in the rear apron to lock your uh, tailgate to lock your tailgate a rear apron your locking system will be also there it is also both manually also as electrically it is been controlled okay then front and rear seat panel where your seat will be get mounted here these are your front and rear seat members where your seat will be getting mounted okay everyone got it or do you have any doubt regarding your lower body system if you have any doubt you can ask me or we can continue further okay okay so now our biw is in your vehicle you got to know about your in your vehicles you got to know about biw uh, what are the classification what are the uh, sub system of biw is so how this system are been designed or how what are the process in industry uh, able to manufacture this biw what are the process or product life cycle management is been done of this biw let us so first is what is plm or product life cycle management so in a industry in a industry uh, to design something like if you also design a engine also you will be give uh, will be undergoing this plm uh, a plm sub system or plm categories plm is a, a product life cycle management in which you will be deciding which material to used what is the customer demand what are the marketing demand how we can uh, what are the material you will be using in this uh, designs all the things will be design uh, all all the things will be discussing it you will uh, next step is you will be designing it then after that you will be optimizing it then you will be going to manufacture it so these all the things okay from deciding what to produce how much to produce and how to produce to producing it okay or to manufacture it total this cycle is called as your plm okay or product life cycle management okay in your biw also will be undergoing this plm also like n number of part also in industry if you are manufacturing a bottle also a drinking water bottle also that also will be undergone a plm sub system or so plm uh, uh, cycle okay that is product life cycle management how to man uh, how to produce your vehicle and what will it be life cycle and how, how it will be manufactured all the things will be deciding in this plm system okay okay so uh, in your in your biw so what are the uh, under uh, what are the things will be going under like how your pw is divided okay first is your ergonomic packaging and styling cabin so this will be your first step of your plm in bi okay so what is the styling and cabin and what is this ergonomic packaging 
means what is ergonomic packaging means the company okay the company uh, like boards uh, boards will be sitting and they will be deciding what will be our next project is meant uh, suppose the company is uh, planning to have a uh, seven seater of vehicle okay seven seater vehicle means uh, suppose uh, a x company is uh, wanting to manufacture a seven seat uh, seven uh, sitting capacity of uh, vehicle it, they'll be produced okay so what they'll be doing they'll be the making a, a conceptual design conceptual design that means uh, a styling things means uh, like they'll be styling it like how your body part will be looking and how it will be uh, how it will be seeing like how uh, the cabins will be there how the body structure will be there like all the styling details they'll be deciding also in this before that before that they'll be making a market survey means they'll be taking four to five categories of marketing conditions like they will be asking a family person okay they will be asking a family person they will be asking a travel agency like ola or uber and some other persons too okay and some dealers also okay uh, so they will be giving their opinions to this cabin uh, to this ergometric uh, uh, mean uh, ergometric uh, uh, panel okay or board panel uh, so like uh, uh, they will be asking this family person that uh, our company is going to manufacture a seven seater so what are you are facing uh, like uh, whatever the seven seater now you are having in your uh, like in the market so how we can modify it and how can we give it in a better way so that you can buy it so the family uh, man person will be saying that uh, i have a 10 member family and as you are making uh, it uh, like uh, you, you are making a seven seater you keep your uh, sitting capacity or you make your sitting uh, device in such a way that uh, like means in a seven seater you can accommodate 10 member you keep your uh, uh, like sitting capacity such a way that you design your sitting sitting capacity in a such a way that a, in a seven seater a 10 member family can also been utilized it then they will be asking it to the travel agency like what type of categories you want in a seven uh, sitting so then the uh, like uh, the uh, uber or ola uh, people will be saying that uh, as the um, uh, fuel price has been uh, getting higher uh, you can increase your mileage in your uh, vehicle okay they'll be giving their own feedback then the dealers will be saying uh, the styling and uh, the those who are coming they'll be looking for styling also means there uh, they uh, lo the looks will be a sporty look and the funky look all the people are uh, uh, seeing about the funky looks and also the dealers will be saying that what are the com uh, color combination the passenger uh, uh, the mar uh, the market wants so all the feedbacks the company will be taking and according to that they will be designing the vehicle or they will be styling the vehicle for styling uh, for styling uh, uh, proposal styling uh, styling uh, things uh, they will be using a software called alias okay uh, a software called alias in which they will be styling the, uh, all the cabins and all the parts okay then after styling they will be handovering that styling to the concept designer okay means those who are known as the cad can designer okay cad can designer they will be handing over this styling to this what are the work of this cad can designer he or she will be designing all the parts okay means this is only the skeleton they will be providing but like this structure okay whatever the structure uh, the body will be having that will be designed by this concept designer okay this concept designer will be designing that okay after designing it and what are the software they will be using like catia solid works and nx cad maximum of the uh, maximum of the uh, like uh, uh, companies are for designing the biw they are using these three categories now maximum of the catia they are using maximum industry they are using catia like the general motors okay if you have uh, heard about the general motors uh, or bmw or we can say ford ford are using nex nx scad okay but in india tata and uh, tata and mahindra they are using catia okay 
uh, SolidWorks minimally they are using, but CATIA and NXCAD are being used in the maximum areas. Okay. Okay. Uh, so these they'll be designing the concept, uh, designing like how the uh, total st strength and everything will be designed in uh, in this. Uh, concept designing and again they will be sending it to the style, uh, styling department again if something uh, like uh, the concept and uh, moreover the concept designer can change the uh, styling component itself because they will be designing like what are the maximum strength will be there what are the strength strengthening factor will be there what are the uh, material they will be using all the things they will be designing according to that only okay then after if it will be okay they will be sending it back to the interface team then the interface team whatever they will be doing they, uh, whatever the uh, uh, parts they have been designed by the concept designer like uh, they have uh, uh, like as i said you the dash panel uh, required lots of cutting session because the various and uh, all the things will be coming out from here then the interface team will be Cutting out that sessions and they'll be uh, putting all the engines like you know where the engine assembly will be there uh, where, uh what are the components will be going inside the in engine panel so uh, the interface uh, designers will be designing that also the concept and design uh, uh, interface designing will be using same softwares okay like cat and nxcat okay after getting finalized from these three okay after getting finalized from these three then a primary design will be manufactured uh, a, a primary design means the first design will be done okay and that design will be going to the cae analysis okay this will be playing a vital role okay because now it is previously what happens whenever the vehicle is been uh, manufactured or uh, designed they are going on lots of trial and error process means uh, total the designing will be done then the manufacturing will be done after that the, the test will be designed will be there so lots of trial and error method will be uh, is been applied but now as our software is been enhanced means all the software is getting enhanced day by day we can get the accurate uh, uh accurate things or accurate analysis from the software virtually itself so the design that has been created by designing team interface team there'll be uh, that is called as primary design that will be going to the ca department then ca department will be seeing about the original strength structural strength thermal efficiency volumetric efficiency fluid fluid system everything they will be uh, testing it and if it will be ready to go, then they'll be uh, designing the final uh, designing that is the secondary design, or they'll be again changing the primary design. If it will be failed, then again they'll be going for your primary design itself. They will be remodeling it, and they'll be again coming to the analysis uh, analysis department. Again, if it will be okay, then it will be going to the secondary design. The secondary design will be going to the manufacturing team. Okay, uh, and yes, the CIE analysis also uh, using ANSYS, HyperMesh, Simulink, uh, MATLAB, they'll be using this type of softwares to uh, analysis our body parts. Okay, then uh, in the manufacturing team, the manufacturing team will be looking what are the components are there, like the hoods. Hoods will be uh, undergone at uh, dye process, means a dye will be uh, manufactured and uh, will be designing that dye too. Okay, so how they will be designing? So uh, manufacturing have it, the manufacturing team have its own components or own software that is called as aut, aut, uh, that is called as your auto form. Okay, auto form the software uh, used by the manufacturing uh, team is called as auto form. Okay, in which they will be uh, they will be making the dyes, uh, the components, uh, the components dyes or the forming process. Also, they will be looking like what, uh, like whenever we'll be putting some uh, welding machines or anything components or any joining components, whether the sockets have been proper or not. So all the things the manufacturing team will be uh, seeing that if they will be not. Uh, not able or like not proper they'll be again going to the secondary design and again the process will be continuing or else if it is ready to go then the final uh, then the tertiary design will be there tertiary design in which the assembly team will be looking like uh, whether the fastening things like the screwdrivers laser welding machines 
uh, or the robotic arms are going properly inside or not to fasten the uh, to fasten all the components. Okay, if it will be done properly, then the final design is been ready and it will be uh, doing uh, the manufacturing process will be started. If not, again from the concept design, it will be having the processes. Okay. Then uh, 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 after the final design is been uh, ready, then the drafting sheet will be generated. Okay, drafting sheet in which all the body parts, all the measurements, all the sizes will be given, and the CAD design, uh, the designing team will be designing that, and it will be given to this trial man, uh, trial for manufacturing means uh, for uh, first the whatever the manufacturing have given the design that will be designed first and it will be done first means all the body parts like your uh, hoods uh, tailgates they'll be formed okay and then uh, after that the assembly will be done all the major body parts like doors uh, your uh, engine uh, carburetors all things will be uh, assembled and after that the interfaces like inside the parts like your uh, electronics interfaces uh, small components switches all the things will be get attached to the uh, at attached to attached to your vehicle okay after that after that uh, after that we will be going uh, will be getting a good to go design and that time what is good to go design this time the crash test will be done crash testing will be done okay if your crash testing will, uh, is been passed by your government rules and regulation, then the production will be started and production will be started and you can get a new type of vehicle. Okay. Further also, if, if, if you have imagined like whenever the base model is been out from getting uh, the company, what they'll be doing, they'll be taking this reference from this base model and they'll be designing the new modules. Okay. They'll be designing the new modules and they'll be keep on modifying that. Okay, and they will be keep on getting the market survey like uh, what are the components they uh, they have been using that uh, that are good to go or not uh, whether whatever the things we can modify in our new model what are the essential part we can add on to that so all the things will be monitored by this company in the future so these all the things whatever you have discussed is called as PLM product life cycle management means from the day of its uh, execution or to, from the day of its preparation to the end or to the uh, wherever the product will be getting end the company will be monitoring its product so that it will be uh, helping you to uh, a company to modify the vehicles okay with this we'll be binding up the session okay if you have any doubt you can ask me or else uh, we can continue further